This is part two of uh, installing Artisan on your computer and installing the correct driver. A moment ago we showed you how to install the CP210 driver and then we went ahead and we installed Artisan and as you saw there was a uh, glitch to where uh, my Mac would not allow it. If you ever have that on a computer just do a quick Google search if you don't know how to uh, open the security system. In uh, a Mac, you click on the little Apple on the far left side and you click on the system preferences and this shows up like this and you go into security uh, and then uh, you have to click and unlock this. In order to do that, you have to uh, type in your Mac or um, PC or whatever you're using password for that individual machine and then it opens that up and uh, in my case I've already cleared it but under general it told me it was not allowing it because it was only allowing from the App Store. Actually it was clicked on uh, App Store and unidentified developers but it still said did you want to allow it anyway which I clicked yes. When you're done you can close that up. So uh, I was able to install uh, um, and run Artisan. But I want to show you another thing. Let's say you have the uh, Phoenix Plus or that BC1 I was talking about and you want to download the uh, driver for Fidget. So you click on the, the website that takes you to your choice of Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, hit the quick download and then uh, once it's downloaded, because I uh, already downloaded it I think. Well, let's go ahead and download it again. I, maybe I didn't download it. Oh yeah. It's telling, it takes you through the instructions on how to download it, uh, which is pretty simple, but if you have any question, um, you know, go to that and you'll be uh, helped to see how to download it. But since I already have know how to download it, I'm just going to go ahead and download it. <clears throat> Maybe I already have downloaded it. No, that's for the other one. Hold on. Bear with me for a second. Mac download installer. Okay, there I clicked. Uh, I had to click the Mac OS installer. So as you can see over here, it's downloading the fidget driver and as soon as that gets downloaded we'll go ahead and click on that and then uh, all right now I'm going to click on the so it's going to get ready to install it and this little thing's going to pop up you got to hit the box again and then it says uh, okay I was I never got rid of the old uh, install from the CP one. So now we're going into the installer for the uh, fidgets. So I want to agree with that and then install. And after you install it, if you have any issues where you don't know how to connect it up with Artisan, it's all spelled out on the page for, uh, as you can see, for in the fidgets it tells you uh, uh, you already know what you're doing go here and, and download it if you uh, um, don't know what you're doing it kind of walks you through that so once that's installed <clears throat> we we can bring up our artisan software and now the two key elements with the Artisan software is to install the, I mean, set it up, set up the serial port and also the device. So we're going to cover that in our next little segment.